Hey kids! Hey! Welcome to the second video of our English class. Remember we were working in English in vocabulary and we've been doing so great. Uh, this is the last video for today. So I want to make this as simple as possible. I want to go with you um, over all the activities so that you know exactly what you have to do and you don't get lost. So we were talking about dictionaries and how we use dictionaries and how dictionaries put words in alphabetical order from A to Z. If the first letter is the same, then you go to the next letter. And if the next letter is the same, then you go to the third letter to put words in alphabetical order. Okay? And I'm going to go back to the example that we did here. Code, cold, cork, and cost. They all begin with a C. So you go to the next letter is an O. They all have the second letter O. And then the third letter is what's going to make you uh, put these words in different order. Code goes first because in the alphabet, D goes first. Or if it goes before L. And L goes before R. And R goes before F. So let's just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I'm just going to say that. Not that you don't know it. I know you know it. I'm just reminding you of how to say the alphabet in English. So, you guys, we did this activity where I already showed you what the answers were. So the next activity is you're going to have to do them on your own. So, you're going to write these words in alphabetical order according to the third letter. The third letter. So, you have badger, baby, basin, ball. This is a badger. This is a baby. This is a basin. And this is a ball. Just so that you know what the words mean, it's really important to know what words mean, even when we don't know how to spell them. We know sometimes how to spell words, and we don't know what they mean. And those things are very correlated. They're very linked. Okay? So Sometimes we can determine what a word means by how it's written. And we can also determine how a word is written by lots of other things. This is how our brain starts linking information. So, in the first letter A, you have badger, baby, basin, and ball. They all begin with the letter B. And they all have A as the second letter. Now what you have to determine is which goes first, badger, baby, basin, or ball. So the third letter here is D. Here the second letter, the third letter is B. The third letter in this one is S. And the third letter in this one is L. Okay, you have to do the work. I am just giving you the hint. Then in letter B, you have this group of words. Acorn, acrobat, accident, and ache. Ache is when something hurts, by the way. So A is the first letter of all the words, and C is the second letter in all the words. But the third letter in acorn is O, in acrobat is R, in accident is C, in ache is H. Remember, we don't say H, we say ache. My head aches. My tummy aches. This CH sounds like a K. Ache. Okay. Now the third group of words in letter C is pear, penguin, pebble, peck. Now as you can see, the first letter is a P, and the second letter in all of these words is the letter E. So you have to go to the third letter. In this case, it's an A. Here it's an N. Here it's a B. Here it's a C. Well, this one is really close one to the other, so you have to be really careful when you do this exercise. What are we going to do? We're going to check it next week on Zoom class, probably on Tuesday. So you have uh, from today until Tuesday to do this activity, but that's not all because it continues. I told you there are three pages. We're just in the second one. Now, Write the word that comes after each of these words in your dictionary. Now, I know that you might not have a dictionary. If you have a fixed physical dictionary, that's fine. But if you don't, that's okay, too. I'm going to show you what you're going to do. You're going to go to uh, this website that is called kids.wordsmith.net. 
uh, you have the link already. It's already put in the information for this class. So what you're going to do is look up the words. It says bulb. It says write the word that comes after. So I look up the word bulb, B-U-L-B, and I press my Enter key. So here should show up the words in alphabet. And what's the next word? Bulgaria. So you're going to write to have Bulgaria here. Now, I have to tell you, this varies depending on the dictionary that you use, so you don't have to have all the same answer. Um, portrait. You do the exact same thing. You're going to go and write portrait. Not, not protein. Portrait. And then you go and you look at the word right after uh, here on the left where it has the alphabetical results and you can write that word here, and so on with crumple, metal, glitter, rust, famous, roof. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you don't know what these words mean, then you have to look them up in the dictionary to find out. It's part of the task. If you don't know what a bulb is, look it up. Try to understand it from the example. Then, in exercise number two, you have to write the word that comes before each of these words in your dictionary. So you take all these ripe, vandal, current, per, usual, idle, kettle, wharf. I'm going to do wharf as an example. W-R-H-R-A-F, wharf, fisherman's wharf. And here, I have the alphabetical results. The word that comes after is wham. Okay, so I would put here wham. It's the word before, and the previous exercise is the word that comes after, so don't mix the two, okay? And finally, there's a third part to all of this. It says, now try these. This is the last page. It says, use the definition to help you find these words in your dictionary. So, a room where scientists work, L-A. So, you've been in this place before. We have one at school. That's all the hint that I'm going to give. A long string to fasten your shoes. A large spoon with a long handle for serving soup. So you have to look up the words L-A, L-A. Look at the spaces you have are how many letters the word has. So the first word is a really long word. This one is a really short word, and this is a medium word. Okay? Then you have two more. Words we use when speaking or writing. There you go. Look at all the letters it has. Volcanic rock that is red hot, like this one. That's a really short word. And the last exercise that you have for today is on the same side, but instead of beginning with L-A, it begins with S-H-A. An area of darkness, not reached by the sun. S-H-A, two letters. S-H-A with three more letters, with wrong, long, thick, untidy hair. Oh, my God. Not deep. S-H-A, three, no, four more letters. Liquid for washing hair. You know, when you take a shower, you put this stuff on your hair to wash your hair, or at least you should. Uh, S-H-A and a bunch of four letters and break suddenly into small pieces. Like this girl, she dropped a flower base, and it, blah, something happened here. If you have any questions about this activity, please tell your parents to email me, or we can discuss it next Zoom class to see if you understood. By the way, guys, there is no math video today, but I am sending you a couple of worksheets that you can practice more multiplication, as I promised you we would. Have a great weekend, you guys. I hope you do all this stuff, and I'll see you on Tuesday for Zoom class. Bye-bye.